Okay, uh, another good week of preparation and um, we're anxious to get back out there. Obviously, got another day of work tomorrow, but uh, players are excited. Got a good week of preparation and uh, ready to get back home and play a night game against the SEC East opponent. So, big game and uh, guys are excited, ready to go. Will, <laughs> the topic of conversation today. Um, well, what do you want to know, John? You want me to, you want me to give you every you little every detail? You want detail. me to, okay. How many plays is going to play? You want to just go you know, tell South Carolina? Or you, you, exactly. yeah. I have no news. I have, I have nobody. Uh, my policy is always, if somebody's out, I'll tell you. I don't have anybody out. So, I had somebody out, I'd tell you. Mark, about that, though, that when the sports betting stuff became more prominent, there was talk that maybe injury reports were going to be a part of this for college coaches, and that never happened. What do you think about that part of this and information? I, I'm good up? with that. Yeah. I, I really am. As long as everybody's standard, you know, I'm, I'm good with that. I, I'm, as you know, I mean, I, I'm pretty open. I'm, more, I'm probably more open than most people, I'd say. And, uh, you know, because I feel like, you know, things get out anyway. Sometimes, you know, true, sometimes not, and, you know, whatever. So, uh, um, but I would be all for that. Being, you know, just having it standardized, and much like the NFL, and, and you know, so if somebody's out, they're out. You know, and go down the tiers they have from there. So, I mean, yeah, today, today's Thursday. I don't know anybody that can predict the future. You know what I mean? If somebody walks off a curb or, you know, gets, you know, falls off a bike or their scooters. You know what I mean? So things happen. Yeah, more confidence is huge in the kicking game. How have Matt and Champs responded this week? Real, really good, really good. They uh, hit it really solid today, and uh, we had a good week. And uh, you know, I think it's important to them. I mean, they've been very consistent through the years, and they work hard. And uh, you know, they've they've worked hard this week. And uh, it's not like they're fragile guys that haven't been around or anything. They've been around. For some years and so um you know i expect them to go out there and kick it very well and you know just because they've been around and have a lot of confidence don't mean that that things don't happen in games as i mentioned after the last games you know sure i mean if somebody you know if you've ever played golf you had a bad golf shot sometimes it's in your mind the next you know what i mean shot too so i'm not saying they're immune to anything but uh but they're they're experienced they've been around they're they're good players and they do their jobs well. We never talk about Dewey. I mean, we never talk about snappers, holders, or kickers until something happens. And then we talk about it. Mark? Then it's a special transition. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about how good we've done on <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, our kickoff returns number one in the country, but nobody, uh, don't worry, no, just brush that off. <laughs> Mark, going into a game with South Carolina, do you talk about special teams a little more just in general because of the Yeah, I mean, yeah, like for sure. I mean, you do. You have to make sure you're, you're up your game. The, yeah, Shane's very good, and you know he, it's, it's extremely important to him with his background. And, and uh, so you better be on point uh, with Shane and with everybody. But in particular, this game, yeah, I'd say make sure, yeah, you got to be locked in and ready to go. Challenge our guys. Yeah, he likes to do a lot of different things, so he does. base punts and stuff like that. Well, yeah. Can you prepare for that or, well, you, or not? Well, yeah, of course you can. And you could be in some safer calls and, you know, pick your spots and uh, mix it up a little bit and not be predictable. Um, you have to be against guys like that. And, you know, I equate that to. Uh, you know some of the great offensive minds you, you've you know played over the years you know when you're playing the steve spurriers and the, you know being like you just got to be very conscientious of things you're doing you know and and i think of that yeah i think with south carolina with shane's background and in uh and i'm sure the importance that he puts on it and uh, you know making sure you're you're aware of what you're doing and giving different looks and just being very sound and being you know and playing hard you had to focus on getting those five starting offensive linemen as many reps as you can together. But how's that second group coming along just in what they can do? In yeah, I think, you know, we're constantly trying to get more and more depth and bring those guys along. I think, uh, you know, they're not far off from playing. And, um, you know, 
we'll see what happens in this game. We're prepared to mix up a couple different combinations and get some guys some, some work, so we'll, we'll see where it goes. Mark, when you say you don't have anybody who's out right now, is there still a chance for JJ then and Jack West for both of us to have an opportunity possible? Well, that's, that's what I said. So, yeah. <laughs> Mark is a Jack West is highly doubtful. So, yeah. Mark, as the season progresses, are you able to focus specifically on the other team a little bit more? I know at the beginning of the year, you're kind of keeping your house in order. And yeah. now as you know a little bit more about these other teams, more film. And yeah, I think that that's fair. I think early on, you got to be prepared for everything. And your team is so used to just playing against each other. You know, at least now you have some different styles, different offenses. And, more experience you know the players have more experience in that game environment especially youngsters and you know uh, you know seeing different looks than they're used to seeing in practice so i think it helps and but that's the same with everybody everybody has that same advantage mark you said uh, monday that justin rogers played really well and brad mm -hmm. echoed that yesterday have you seen him just coming along yeah coming along or how is his progression you know, I thought it was really important last week with Josiah not being able to play and him really playing that amount of snaps in a tempo offense uh, to, to play that hard, you know, and I think it was good. They had a couple of long play drives, but I think you, you play in Ole Miss, they want chunks too, and uh, we were able to limit that to some extent, but, but they did have some longer drives, uh, but they were still able to maintain that and play at a high level, so that's, that's a good sign. Mark, we've got several of these younger coaches, like Shane. I'm not saying that you're old or anything like that. Uh, <laughs> well, but, I, I can say that. <laughs> yeah, but the, these guys, I was listening to Shane talk about his relationship with his dad. And mm -hmm. I was just wondering, do you have like a go-to person that, that you you consult for uh, not just football advice, but life advice? Well, I think I'm blessed to have many people that I could consult with that way. Um, certainly some older brothers in the, in the experience you know, that I was taught through my dad and through my brothers and uh, the core of kind of who I am, I lean on. I think, um, uh, yeah, I think you're, you know, as I always say, you're in a, when you're in a learning environment, you constantly learn and try to get better. Um, but I am old, I am old, been around here 10 years. So I think uh, my instincts and my gut and the, my own intuition, I kind of lean on quite a bit as well. Mark, separate from role status, how do you just feel about your backup quarterbacks at the moment? How those guys I feel out? good. I feel good. I feel like, um, you know, you never know until you get into a game, you know, until they're pressed into that situation. I think you can say that about a lot of players, but I think it's, it's, it's very real with quarterbacks, you know, with all they have to do. You know, you may see somebody that looks just absolutely gorgeous in seven on seven or, you know, and just in – throwing on air and things. And then when all the moving pieces happen, I think that's when you get a true indicator on what you have at quarterback. Everybody good? Thank all you right, all. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks. it.